What's up, gurus? In this video, we got some new fish for our Planet 75. We're gonna feed the puffer, the axolotl, these guys. We're also gonna feed the other two bettas, and I'll give you guys a quick update on the CO2 progress in those two tanks as well. But let's get at it. We're gonna start over at the axolotl tank and get Felix and Nightcrawler. All right, so as you see, I got my little night crawler here. We're gonna come in here, give this guy to Felix. <laughs> Sometimes they'll get my fingers, so I gotta watch out. starting to like this scape in here um we did add a madagascar lace plant that wasn't doing so hot in the shrimp tank and it seems to be growing leaves in here even though it's kind of shallow but that'll be kind of cool a little project to see what happens with that um i think there's a java fern in here somewhere i know there's a uh bulbitis right here that isn't doing anything but he's pretty much got her down so let's move on to the next tank I do got lids on everything now, so that's kind of nice to have too. And here, we got our shrimp of course, our false Julie Cori's, also called the Corydoras trilineatus. There's a brighter one there, a younger one. Um, we got a few different color neocatardinas from reds to oranges, and there's some rillies in here too, along with the, the blue rillies like that one. Uh, red really right there. There's some trumpet snails, big, huge trumpet snails. Uh, a bunch of ram's horns in here as well. And there's two nearites, because everybody loves nearites. But yeah, this tank is doing pretty good. There's a nice blue one right there. Next to somewhat of an orange, really. All these plants look pretty decent in here. These swords need a little trimming, though. But And we do have the DIY polisher in here, just to keep the gunk down. Um, it does have two sponge filters, but uh, we had a planaria attack in here, so I had to clean the gravels or the sand as I was working on it. So, but yeah, let's move on over to the puffer tank. All right, so then we have the puffers. We have Draco, of course. Always wondering if you guys are subscribed. If you're not, click down here in the right, bottom right hand corner of the screen on that little red square, and you can get subscribed right now. There's Puff, she's actually out to eat. So we're going to grab our night crawlers over here. We'll start with Dracos, as always. And he'll chase that guy down. Meanwhile, I'm going to snag one over here for her. There she goes. She'll take it back in her corner. I got duckweed all over my finger. <laughs> There's a bunch of duckweed in here. I love duckweed. Let's me know when it's time for water change, which it is in this tank. But yeah, lids on everything now. I love it. Draco's nice and full. Aren't you? Big bubble. And then Puff is back here, finishing off what's left of that little worm <laughs> and then she'll go back in her cave back there the anubius is doing good in here they do have a new leaf on there you can tell this little chunk of java fern is starting to take off same with the one in the back uh this anubius is also doing well there's another one growing another leaf there uh the bacopa or not bacopa uh bulbitis is, is sprouting new stuff so everything's kind of grabbing hold in here so draco's gonna have some bigger plants but let's get on to the next tank, which is the new fish in the Planet 75. All right, so here we are at the Planet 75. I do got a couple new almond leaves in there. I'm sure you can see the new guy. Um, but yeah, we did add some more of these. There's a total of 25 Harlequins in here now. And they are fast. Um, it has been bringing the loaches out. They're just not out right now. They're kind of discussing it over here in the corner as we speak. Um, they might pop out for us, they might not. And there's one right there. Um, and we got the flying foxes in here as well as some, uh, 
well, what's left of some ram's horn snails. <laughs> and there's a big nereid in here as well. Um, and some giant amano shrimp. And when I say giant, these things are like two and a half to three inches full grown. So, but this is our biggest surprise here. We got a king betta. It looks to me to be a royal blue embellus. Hard to tell, but he is pretty, pretty social. He's kind of fighting with himself in the glass over here. He does like the camera, so hopefully he follows us. We can get a nice picture of him in the light. Such a pretty fish though. But yeah, he fits right in in here. Hasn't messed with anybody. Nobody's messing with him. Um, he just wants to eat. <laughs> but man, is he bright. That blue is just glowing. Same with the orange on these guys up here. You can see that. And then that slight blue tint that they get too. Super pretty fish. Oh, here he comes. By the way, this guy needs a name. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of for names for this guy. Definitely a cool looking fish. But yeah, so we got some bug bites flakes for this tank. And they're kind of big chunks, so I'm just going to kind of break it up. And you can watch the Harlequins just go nuts. And this guy's over here. He'll eat some of them too. He's a big fan of the Sarah Onep tabs, which we'll go through in the next video. Um, I definitely love those things for little treats, so. Why are you so angry? There's all sorts of flakes up top for you. All the Harlequins are smashing them, but... <laughs> They're up there. There he goes, he's down here eating them now. And then the loaches will come out and pick up the little scraps too, so that's why I usually do two pinches. But yeah, there's the big near right back there. But you can see this guy is just a stunner. His front fins are bright red too. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. You put them out for us for a second anyway. Super pretty fish. But yeah, there's that tank. Um, I'm gonna go move on to the bettas and then we'll close it out for today. Um, like I said, in the next video, we'll be talking about the Sarah Ona tabs. Um, so make sure you're watching. So you can see the CO2 and this one's kind of flowing kind of slow for whatever reason. Um, we got Yandu in here still doing good. Plants are looking good. The hair grass is growing crazy. The star wrappings looks nice. Over here, same idea. Hair grass is growing nuts. The java fern is starting to really grow in nice. Pennywise is doing awesome along with the auto. And then there's an Amano in here somewhere hiding. I just seen him. There he is. But yeah, this one's flowing really decently, so I don't know. But yeah, let's toss some food in here real quick for these guys. <laughs> I love how he comes right up to me and then he's got to go chase that all around but yeah this one's looking really nice too I'm really liking this tank but yeah that's it for today and there you have it guys, that is all for today's video. We'll get into a video about the Sarah Onip tabs. I'll throw some on here along with on the shrimp tank and just show you guys how cool those little treats are. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.